Hey everybody, it's Harry from Stuff Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I've been super excited to shoot this Thanksgiving episode. It's been a crazy year for 2020 with COVID, the economy, you know, racial tensions, the elections, teleworking since March. So I really feel that I need a sense of normalcy during the holiday season and what better way to kick it off than to have a thanksgiving dinner due to the raging covid pandemic all over america it's really not safe to have family gatherings where there are a lot of people so uh, i'm going to be cooking my entire thanksgiving dinner outdoors and we're going to cook a turkey a stuffing gravy two side dishes and also dessert all outdoors on the pit so i'm drawing some inspiration from hawaii because uh our vacation plans for my family were canceled this year due to the covid so i'm going to draw inspiration from hawaii to cook you guys a hawaiian thanksgiving turkey dinner with all the trimmings and sides Your preparation begins the night before. We're going to show you how to make a Hawaiian marinade, very similar to the shoyu or huli huli marinade. We also need to soak some rice. I'm going to be using some sweet rice or glutinous rice. It's called by many names, but it's not really sweet. It's just a starchy type of rice called sticky rice or sweet rice. And uh, you need to soak this overnight so it cooks properly. It's not sweet at all. It tastes just like regular rice, but it has a starchy quality that is very good for making like a rice style stuffing second thing you need to do is soak some uh, dried shiitake mushrooms in some water overnight to let it rehydrate for the next day and let's go ahead and make the marinade now which is comprised of a few ingredients here i have salt pineapple juice soy sauce brown sugar sesame oil a little bit of uh, mirin some chili flakes for heat and some aromatics of ginger garlic and onion in one gallon of water you want to add three quarter cup of regular table salt i have about two cups of uh, pineapple juice two cups of soy sauce two cups of brown sugar four heaping tablespoons of garlic four heaping tablespoons of ground ginger half an onion chopped two tablespoons of sesame oil four tablespoons of mirin or one tablespoon of chili flakes. You can skip the chili flakes if you don't want it spicy, but I think a slight kick tastes really, really great on the turkey. rice stuffing now just a little bit of oil with the pan we have a few ingredients here we're going to use to make a uh, spam sticky rice stuffing we have uh, two cups of uh, st sticky rice or sweet rice this is just actually regular rice but it's just a different kind called glutinous rice or sticky rice we have a little bit of uh, sesame oil oyster sauce soy sauce some Shaoxing wine water chestnuts for texture and of course the spam for umami we have uh, some uh, dried rehydrated shiitake mushrooms that we soaked the night before a little bit of a dried shrimp for umami again and a little bit of a chinese sausages ready to go into the pan spam and sausages going first some of the dried shrimp shiitake mushrooms all right you need to fry the rice a little bit like risotto and i'll give the rice a little bit of a fry first Coat it with oil, 
soften it up and then you want to coat the grains with oil so that the uh, individual grains will be coat covered with oil cooks a lot better get you a nice style stuffing rice stuffing with sticky rice Add the water chestnuts in here a little bit of shellshing wine and some soy sauce you know oyster sauce one tablespoon of sesame oil it's a rice, beautiful nutty flavor. Pretty nicely coated with oil. Before we put it into a uh, foil pan, we're gonna cook this in a pit. Ordinarily, I would have done this rice outdoors, but it's just too sunny, so it's really bad to get a video of me cooking it. So I'm just gonna cook it inside. But usually, I cook cook this outdoors. You're gonna add about three three cups of uh, any stock. You can use uh, pork, chicken, or beef. Doesn't really matter. The ratio for the liquid to the rice, it's about three to two. And you just wanna put a little bit enough to cover and then adjust accordingly. When you cook it, you wanna watch it as you cook to see if it's drying out and uh, you can adjust to add water or add stock accordingly. You wanna get it to kind of a, like a risotto type of consistency. So this is kind of like a Asian style risotto has a got a lot of textures, a lot of flavors that will pair perfectly with the Hawaiian style barbecue turkey. All right, transferring the uh, spam sticky rice stuffing into the pit to smoke. Same temperature as the turkey. You notice that I've covered the turkey because uh, it's starting to brown nicely. So just cover the turkey and cover all the wing tips so it doesn't overcook. Let's make our pit roasted five spice carrots and uh, to make it a little bit Hawaiian I have a macadamia nuts here so what we have is some uh, carrots we drizzle some melted butter on it first splash of soy some five spice powder here which is found in the Asian market it has a uh, wonderful cinnamon clove star anise flavor brown sugar roll on to the carrots macadamia nuts a little bit of green onion and we're all set. We're gonna save some of the green onion for garnish after it's ready. Double foil pouch. Cook it in the pit until it's nice and tender to your liking. If you like your carrots really tender, cook it longer. Let's make our hoisin gold glaze sweet potato, which pairs really, really well with a Hawaiian style turkey. You see potato here, add a little bit of melted butter, a bit of ginger, Minced ginger, garlic, mix it up a little bit. Wonderful flavor of the islands in this Hawaii inspired sweet potato. Let's add a few wet ingredients, a little bit of splash of soy sauce for flavor. Some sweet mirin, hoisin sauce. I like spicy, so we're gonna add sriracha, Touch of sesame seed. We're gonna put some more sesame seed at the end. Some bell peppers for color. All right, make it a little foil pouch. And cook it until it's tender in the pit. Turkey looks good. It's a good temperature. About 150. Getting there. The rest is 178. Thigh is about one. 57, turkey's almost done, excellent. Continue to keep it covered so it doesn't get too dark. For the potatoes, carrots, add a little liquid to the rice. Let's make the uh, coconut mochi butter cake. Now you use uh, one pound of uh, sweet rice flour. This is the brand I like to use, Koda Farms uh, Mochiko. Then we add to it some sugar, two and a one quarter cup of sugar. Give it a stir, flour and sugar. One tablespoon of uh, baking powder. Just a pinch of salt. A little bit of coconut, about maybe a quarter cup of sweet coconut. Give it a stir. And this is really easy mochi butter cake. We just mix everything together. Pop it into a 400 degree, 425 degree oven. We're ready in about 25 minutes. 
I'm gonna add uh, one can of coconut milk, unsweetened. Add one stick of butter. That's why it's called a butter mochi cake. Fold it in, so. Super simple recipe. And add five beaten eggs. We start a huli huli sauce by melting about four tablespoons of butter. And uh, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of flour to make a roux to form the base of the uh, locomoco sauce. And a locomoco sauce is used when uh, you have that hamburger patty over rice, smother with the brown gravy. We're just making a brown gravy here. The characteristic of the uh, loco moco is this flavor, which is a like a maggi seasoning that gives it kind of that Hawaiian style punch. Whenever I have any brown gravy that has this ingredient in it, it kind of reminds me a lot of Hawaii. You, you want to cook the roux a little bit until it turns to blonde color. We're going to add a little bit of uh, beef broth, about two cups. Keep stirring so that the uh, sauce is not lumpy. I like to uh, season with a little bit of white pepper. Some of this uh, Maggi seasoning here. It, the basic ingredient here is hydrolyzed soy protein, which is kind of like a MSG soy saucy kind of flavor, but it gives that Hawaiian punch that always reminds me when I have a gravy that has this component in it. Makes me, reminds me of me being in Hawaii, enjoying a loco moco or a plate lunch. And uh, my favorite plate lunch place in uh, Hawaii is LNL. I think they do a really great job. Thank goodness there's LNL also in Los Angeles. If I need my Hawaii fix, I can always go to LNL. Our loco moco sauce to pour on our Hawaiian style turkey is all ready. So the way you carve a turkey is you make a cut and uh, you do is you pry the eye bone backwards until you can see the joint here and then you can free it right at the joint once you can see it run your knife right at the joint and it comes off just like that super easy okay just set this on the side do the same on the other side cut in into the thigh bone flip it backwards like so gently you can see the joint right there take your knife take it to the joint no, need, no, no hacking and no sawing needed. Entire drum and thigh comes off. I'm gonna debone this in a minute. Same thing for the wing. You wanna cut into the wing muscle like so. You can feel the joint here, right where the joint is. You keep running your knife into the joint. You hear a crack, like so. And you run your knife right into the joint. And the entire wing comes off no problemo. So there's no force needed, just need to get into the joint. Once you get into the joint, you make a cut, the whole bird falls apart. Now we're ready to separate the breast from the breastbone. And we want to check for the wishbone here. It's like a lot easier once you remove the fish wishbone here to get the breast meat out. What we do is we make a V cut like so. Right here, same thing. You can feel the V here. Make another V cut. You can feel the wishbone here. Slowly walk the wishbone away. Like so you can pull it out. So gently work it and the wishbone will actually come off. Okay, just like that. Once you get the wishbone out, the turkey is a lot easier to carve the breast of the breastbone. And uh, for good luck measure, I'm gonna pull and make a wish. Okay, I win, I get my wish. So you have one turkey breast on this side. Let's carve the other side. So there's the, the breastbone. You just wanna run your knife on the other side of the breastbone. Don't fight it, just feel for where the bone is, and then slide it off the breast gently, so. And the trick is once the wishbone comes off, the breast meat comes off pretty easily. Just need to guide your knife. Let the weight of the 
breast meat just fall down and you are all set to go and we remove this side absolutely beautiful turkey breast we we'll set the carcass aside none goes to waste this is going to be used to make a turkey gravy or turkey stock next we want to debone the drum the thigh separated beautiful drum we're gonna run our knife right down the middle of the thigh debone it all right we're gonna gently carefully slice the thigh muscle preserve some of this wonderful skin super tender all right, I've shown you one thigh deboned. We're gonna do the rest and then plate the turkey ready for service. We're adding lychee balls to the dessert, the butter mochi coconut cake. Lychee works really well. You can use any kind of uh, fruit cocktail that you like. You don't have to use lychee, but I have lychee and I have lychee honey. I'm gonna drizzle some of this uh, lychee honey on it. It's super good. And let's sprinkle some coconut on top. Thanksgiving pit barbecue dinner is ready. We have our Hawaiian marinade to turkey completely deboned. We have the uh, hoisin glazed sweet potatoes, pit roasted carrots here with a uh, macadamia nut and five spice powder. We have our spam sticky rice stuffing, local moko gravy to go on the turkey, and to top it off, we have a Coconut butter, lychee, honey, butter cake here. Absolutely amazing. Now to sit down and take, give it a taste test. And uh, Mr. Beans is waiting patiently to try the new Hawaiian food here. I hope you had as much fun watching me cook this uh, Hawaiian pit barbecue Thanksgiving dinner as I had uh, doing it. Uh, you know, we did a, quite a few things here all on the pit. It took about uh, four hours or so. The turkey took about three hours and uh, the uh, rice took about an hour and a half. The vegetables took about an hour. The dessert took about 45 minutes. So if you plan your day well, you can actually start your Thanksgiving dinner approximately four or five hours before you want to serve it. You can stage it so you cook the turkey first and then you saw how I cook all the other components to match the turkey as I went along in the cooking process. So we timed it so that by the time the turkey is done, all of the other side dishes are also done. Now, I had a little bite of it. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this Hawaiian-inspired uh, kind of marinade was absolutely fantastic. I haven't had a chance to eat the dessert yet, but really looking forward to the lychee, honey, coconut, butter, mochi cake. I know Mr. Beans has been jumping on me, and uh, I'm gonna go feed him now. So before I go, I wanna thank you guys all for a great year. I have so much to be thankful for and uh, I'm thankful to all my YouTube viewers, all my Patreons who are helping me keep the lights on on my channel to allow me to provide free content on YouTube. I'm so happy that uh, you know the year is concluding and we have potentially a light at the end of the tunnel with the COVID and the vaccine. So looking forward to the holidays, spending time with family and friends and I want to try and give my love to all my viewers out there. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. All right, let's give beans some turkey and some rice. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Beans. No brisket today, but I got something even better. Got Spam, sweet rice, sticky rice stuffing together with this uh, Hawaiian style turkey. I hope you like it, Beans. Okay, he's eating the uh, Spam sticky rice first. Working on the turkey now. Right, great job, Beans. Happy Turkey Day. Oh, he likes it. Look at that, he's licking the plate dry. Mm.